Hi, I'm back. This is part two of making a basic paper pistol. And in part one, we left off with this. So next, what you want to do is... Let me think. Uh, we're going to start off by making the handle. So, to make the handle, uh, take another sheet of paper. And then you want to roll it up pretty thick. So... Around one inch, maybe. Actually, make make it a little bit bigger than one inch. Not too big. And then go ahead, tape that. And for tape, you can use any sort of tape. I re I recommend a uh, transparent. Or scotch, scotch magic tape. Yeah, that's good. And then after you tape this thing, cut, cut it at a slant, like this. So the handle should slant a little bit. After that, cut the length you want for your handle. Make sure it's not too short, cause if it's too long, you can always revise it. But if it's too short, you can't. So you should have this. Now, you want to tape the insides of the handle, like that, tape the flat, so it doesn't move around, and you also want to tape the bottom as well. So, when you take the bottom, it's easier to put in the magazine. Now, you want to square this. Again. Square your handle up. So, it's like this. And go ahead, take your handle up. And now you want to find your main body and then put your handle at the end. And then go ahead, take that. So tape it on both sides. And you want your handle to be sturdy, so make sure you tape it here into the inside of this tube, as well as tape it here. So now you should have this. Next, uh, we're going to make the trigger guard. So you want to fold up a piece of paper a lot, and after you fold it up, you should get this. See, it's it's, uh, it's really thick, has lots of layers, and it should be flattened, not rolled. This is rolled. This is flattened. So next, what you want to do is make the trigger guard. Cut a appropriate length, probably around uh, three inches. And then that. After you do that, you want to fold it, depending. So the trigger should go. Uh, the trigger guard should look something like this. So I'm just gonna fold it right here. So now it's like this. And then cut the length of your trigger guard that you want it to be. So you should have this.
take the main body of your gun and go ahead tape your trigger guard on as you can see my trigger guard's a little bit too fat so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it And then now I have this, and then you just tape your trigger guard on like this. So take another skinny piece of tape and then put it on here. Then you want to imagine where your trigger guard is, and then tape your guard down. It should be hanging just like this. Flip it back like this and then tape this side down as well. After that. Oh, by the way, I recommend hot gluing the iron sights and the trigger guard, but since I don't want to make it complicated since does everyone not everyone has a mini hot glue gun. Yeah, we're, I'm just going to be using tape. And tape this so now your pistol looks realistic. Sort of. You have a pistol now that is strong enough so you can spin it. And yeah, that's what you have right now. Move your scraps aside and we'll start by folding up the same piece of paper. Take a piece of paper, fold it up like this. Um, You do not need to tape this because it's folded. So you should have this. Now, you want to fold this into thirds. So, I'm going to fold this. Try to into thirds. And you should get this. Now, this will be your slide. Simply put it on here and tape it down. As I said, this is a beginner's gun, so I'm not making a functional slide. But tape it down. So now you should have this. Looks really weird. So, you're gonna take your scissors and then cut it to the correct length. And you should now have this. Tape your slide down a bit more. And you should have this. Now next up what you want to do is you want to cover up the back. So take a extra sheet of paper. Oh, I forgot to mention, save this, and take a sheet of paper, 
and just tape it. Tape that on. Like this. Tape that on. Cut it to the correct length. And I'll see you in part two. I mean part three.